Well, speaking of winning the lottery, that may be earth shattering, but not quite as much as a real earthquake. Mm -hmm. And we all know that the big one could happen at any time. Yeah, for over a century, scientists have studied earthquakes uh, using seismographs. Mm -hmm. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom uh, found out there may be an even better instrument for the job buried right beneath our feet. These are called geophones, uh, were developed uh, in the early 1900s. The sensors that power today's seismographs haven't changed much, but now the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab has big plans for something much smaller. Each of these little tiny strands is a single uh, fiber of, of glass, which you can transmit light along. They're the fiber optic cables that make up the internet. The companies, especially during the first dot-com boom, installed a huge amount of fiber underground with the expectation that the internet would become a big thing and people would use it all the time. They were right, but they installed too much. Now the unused so-called dark fibers could be the key to learning more about earthquakes. The basic idea is to shine a short pulse of laser light into a fiber and record the backscattered photons. Researchers measure how long it takes each pulse of light to bounce back. In an earthquake, the fiber stretches and the timing changes. This is the Mexico 8.1, which happened back in September. They get measurements just like a seismograph in places where traditional instruments can't go. Offshore and in urban areas. Uh, where we don't have sensors currently. The massive amounts of data generated from these fibers is quickly filling up piles of these giant 16 terabyte hard drives. But it turns out that data can be used for a lot more than studying earthquakes. I would say I listen to noise most of the time. Shan Do is using vibrations from passing trains and trucks to make a sonogram of what's deep underground. Just by using this dark fiber, you're getting a picture of where potentially the bedrock interface is, the depth of the water table up here, and some of the changes in soil type. It could help monitor water stored in aquifers, even track the thawing of the Arctic permafrost, and here in California to plan for the big one. Knowing how stiff or how soft the soil is, that can help us to allocate first aid, emergency response in a smart way. In Berkeley, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.